my uh, pull me out of always getting little DIY projects done to them. Like my little DIY turbo screen I put on here. You can see it has two little pigtails, well three little pigtails coming out of it. But I don't want to cut none of that off because I don't want to mess anything up and make sure that nothing is getting sucked inside of the turbo whenever I'm on the throttle or anything. So I'm just leave it like that. And what I use for that is some screen door screening actually. And it is aluminum screening as you can see. Got it from Home Depot. But I think that's a pretty good thing. An addition that I did to the car. And I feel like nothing's going to go in through the turbines of the turbo and mess something up. But as of now, I'm just looking under the hood and I see that I don't think the brake fluid has ever been changed in this thing since 99. I'm not sure, but I would say it's time to change this. And I would be doing the clutch at the same time, but unfortunately I don't feel like getting on my back and getting under the car to bleed it. But this even looks worse than the brake fluid. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about that because either way it goes, I'm going to have to do it again whenever I change out the clutch, which I do have. I'm just not putting it on there yet because honestly, I'm a little lazy. don't feel like doing it. But I have Kiera over here with me and she's going to help out with the brake fluid flush. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. And I'm going to start at the back passenger side since that's the furthest away from the brake booster and flush all of the fluid out of there and then work my way up to the closest one which being the driver's side, front driver's side. Yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, the brakes don't actually feel bad or anything, but I just looked at the fluid. I have some new fluid, so I figured why not. And I took the car to Cars and Coffee yesterday morning and on the way back home, I had a weird noise coming from this wheel. And I'm not sure what the noise is. I'm thinking it's some dealing with the coilover. Hopefully it's some dealing with the coilover that just needs to be tightened up and nothing dealing with the hub or the actual wheel that's coming loose. But I'm gonna see that whenever I get to this side to bleed this side. All right, so, and when bleeding your brakes, you're gonna wanna have at least two people, at least doing this me method. Uh, last time I bled brakes, we had three people, but that's just for somebody to watch the reservoir to make sure it didn't go empty. But I have this hose right here, and this is your bleeder valve for your car, well, for the Miata anyways. And I'm just gonna put this hose on the end of it, like so. And the other end is going to be dripping into whatever you're going to want to be disposing your brake fluid with. Uh, I have just an oil pan, an oil drain pan, and I'm going to let it go into there. And I'm going to do this while I go wash the reservoir. And I'm going to have Kiera to press the brakes. And whenever the reservoir starts to go down and gets almost empty, I'm going to put some more brake fluid in there just to make sure it doesn't go empty. And come back here and check to see if all the old fluid has gone out of it. Let me see. Hold your foot down on the brake. You hold it down? Yeah. It should have went to the flow, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, pump the brakes. Kiera, pump the brakes. Okay. What you mean you can't? It's tight at the top. Yeah. Oh well, hold them, hold them down hard as you can. Let me know. I am. Right. Yeah, hold, hold it. Yeah, hold it. I am. All right, this is the side that was giving me the little noises. So, trying to figure out what that was. Hopefully, nothing too serious. It could have been serious. It could have been real serious, actually. One of my bolts backed out of the... Uh, the tire? The wheel? No, my caliper. The bottom caliper bolt backed out. Yep. This ain't supposed to be doing this. Thought it was my coil over, but nah, that's good. Just, you know, we'll hold our brakes on to the car. Oh, my God. 
That's all it was. That's why I heard it whenever I was on, on the brakes, remember? I wish I could show y'all exactly what all of this nastiness looks like, but can't really tell, but it is kind of dark compared to the new fluid we put in there. It's more so like a vanilla-ish, yellowish type of color. But now, it's just one more thing to do, and that's to take the car for a drive. Uh, hopefully that, that bolt that was missing in the rear is what was causing the noise i'm pretty sure 99.9 .9 sure that's what it was the loose caliper and loose rotor uh that's no bueno hopefully everything drives smooth and the brakes do feel a little bit better but like i told you the brakes were working fine before so i won't expect them to have a drastic difference it's just under uh heavy driving uh spirited driving that hopefully you see a big difference with the brake fade. I haven't driven this thing and put it through its paces yet, but sooner or later, I definitely would want to. Now it's time to go for this little drive. Come on, baby. We in there, like swimwear. One thing I for sure gotta change with this car are the motor mounts and the diff mounts. There's a lot of rattling going on down there. Can't. Try it today oh, at Ad Studios. Turn this off. They feel better than the stock one since I put on the R1 uh, pads and rotors.
I'm supposed to turn left. You would turn left and then it'll push you. I'm about to go ahead and end the video right here. Uh, I need to find me some more twists and turns for this Miata because I like the way it handled. It did handle pretty good on those roads just now. Kiara left, so she's not here anymore. And like I said, I'm going ahead and end the video right here. So glad that I ended up getting my brake situation fixed and the brake fluid flushed and everything like that. Man, I can't wait to get this thing on an autocross track. Not even gonna lie. What you done forgot? My groceries. Wow. But yeah, like I said, I can't wait to get this thing on the autocross track and then eventually at Nola Motorsports to see what it could do. Uh, I still have a lot to do before it goes to Nola Motorsports though. But autocross, hopefully I can get that stuff done within the next month or two and then we get it out there and have some fun. Like I said, If you like the video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below and let me know if uh, there's anything that you want to see with the Miata, anything you want me to do with it. Huh? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like I said, comment down in the section below and let me know if there's anything y'all would like to see with the Miata. And uh, I'll be more than happy to make the videos for you. Look at her. She want to get up in my truck and stuff. Talking about she, I left my groceries. <laughs> Always remember to do more, view more, believe more, and achieve more. Now, thank y'all for watching. You didn't say it right. I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Nope. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Uh -oh. Thank y'all for watching. Well, uh, If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might want to go ahead and subscribe because I do tend to post a lot of great content. At least I think it's great content. And if you don't think it's great content, then you don't know what great content is. But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.